The history of Chula Vista, California, can be traced back to the Kumei people, who inhabited the area for centuries. In 1542, Spanish explorer Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo sailed into San Diego Bay and claimed the land for Spain. In 1795, the area that is now Chula Vista became part of a Spanish land grant known as Rancho del Rey. After Mexico gained independence from Spain in 1821, the land became part of Alta California. The first permanent settlement in Chula Vista was founded in 1869 by José Antonio Pico, a former Mexican governor of California. The settlement was named La Punta and was located at the present-day intersection of Interstate 5 and Otay Mesa Boulevard. La Punta grew slowly at first, but it began to develop more rapidly in the late 1880s and early 1890s. In 1889, the first newspaper in Chula Vista, the Otay Press, was founded. The following year, the first school in Chula Vista was opened. In 1903, the name of the settlement was changed to Chula Vista, which is Spanish for Pretty View. Chula Vista continued to grow rapidly in the early 20th century, and it was incorporated as a city in 1911. The city's population grew from 1,200 in 1910 to 17,000 in 1940. Chula Vista's growth continued after World War II, and the city became a major industrial center. In 1960, the population of Chula Vista was 52,000. By 1990, the population had grown to 135,000. Today, Chula Vista is the second largest city in San Diego County, with a population of over 240,000. Chula Vista is a diverse city, with a population that is over 50% Hispanic. The city is also home to a large military population, as the Marine Corps Air Station Miramar is located in Chula Vista. Chula Vista is a modern city with a rich history. The city is home to a variety of attractions, including the Chula Vista Nature Center, the Otay Mesa Wilderness Park, and the Chula Vista Premium Outlets. Chula Vista is also home to the San Diego Padres Spring Training Facility. The future of Chula Vista looks bright. The city is expected to continue to grow in the coming years, and it is poised to become a major economic and cultural center in Southern California.